Then go inside and make me something to eat. <laughs> right away, your highness. Very good. In the meantime, large thoughtful boy, give me your winger dinger. But your highness, I ate all my winger dinger. That's a royal upreach. Take this winger dinger singer to the dodgeball wall. <laughs> <laughs> a winger dinger singer. That's me, all right. Man, TJ's King Bob impression is dead on. You there. Your king has an itchy bottom. <laughs> that TJ thinks he's so funny. Well, King Bob won't think so when he finds Strong out. Kid, <laughs> get this down. And it looks like he'll find out sooner than later. It was said the child who could pull the hockey stick from the stone is the child who would be king. Could you please talk slower, your majesty? Very well, scribe kid. Take a moment and catch up. This is going to be tasty. King Bob! What the? Who impedes the royal trek? Sorry, sire, but T.J. Detweiler was mocking the royal personage by doing an impression of you. I mean, V. Thanks a lot, Randall. I'm sorry, King Bob. Indeed. Bring him to me. Not Detweiler. Him. Huh? Maybe I wasn't clear before. TJ was making fun of you. Of course Detweiler was making fun of me. He's a crazy monkey boy. It's what he does. You, on the other hand, are the boy who cried king once too often. I'm not sure I follow. Well, you'll follow this. Scribe kid, take a decree. Decrees, decrees. Here we go. Shoot. From this day forward, I forbid the lowly snitch Randall, get his last name, from speaking to me, King Bob. But my liege, your grace. You're already violating the decree. Be off or feel the rubbery thunder of the dodgeball wall. May I say thank you, King Bob, for the wisdom and fastness of your judgment? You may. And about that impression, some of the other elementary school kings and I are getting together for a royal roast next month. Can I count on that performance from you? It would be an honor, your most honorable. T.J. Detweiler makes fun of King Bob and gets invited to a star-studded roast. I report T.J. and I'm banned from ever talking to King Bob again. I feel bad. Better go buy something. From the rubble of the Eastern Bloc comes the R67 spy cam. This stealthy piece of high-tech spy tech might be just the sweeping device for what's bugging you. Savvy purchase, Randall. I hope so, Edgy Eddie. But there are some things even the sneakiest gizmos can't get you through. He'd be some kind of spy if he wasn't so funk-prone. I heard that! <laughs> Hello, what's this? How very, very moist. And there I stood, about to pull mine enchanted hockey stick from the stone, when... What? Huh? Why the impertinence? Hiya, Kingy! He defies the decree of silence! Tadler, you'll spend the entire recess at the dodgeball wall. Seize him! b b b b I wouldn't do that if I were you, Kingy. You see, I have this. What's that? For your eyes only, Majesty. I'm warning you, if this is a shot of Detweiler in a number eight jersey... Where did you get this? That's of little import. What is crucial, though, is the fact that I have 65 more of them in my floor safe, each one ready for distribution, unless my demands are met. Demands, huh? Fine, fine, fine. You are no longer banned from speaking to your king. Now, may I have the other pictures? Oh, it won't be that easy, kingy. Uh -oh. I, King Bob, would like to take this time to say a few words about a special guy. His name is Randall Weems, and I have grown to respect him as the unsung hero of this playground. And I have grown to love him like a kid brother. And it is out of this brotherly feeling that I introduce you to the newest member of your royal family and my heir apparent, Prince Randall. Oh, good morning, subjects. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, hush, people, you'll get used to it. Now, before you get on to worshipping me, I'd just like to remind you that King Bob has given me sweeping powers to make and enforce whatever rules I want. Now, go off and think about ways to honor me. Oh, oh, Randall? A prince? But wasn't it just the other day King Bob banned Randall from speaking to him? It's like we were playing kickball and all of a sudden fair is foul. Yeah, foul is fair. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. But what can we do? King Bob granted him those princely powers. I'm ready for dessert. Where are the revenues for my candy tax? Hello? I can't do this alone. I need quality assistance. You there. Me, sire? Yes. As I recall, you're very good at getting things done, and I need things done. You're hired. I, I am? Guys, you won't believe what happened! Prince Randall has turned the sandbox below his jungle gym into a dungeon. And he's keeping kids there who won't pay his 100% candy tax. So that's his game. It looks like we're gonna have to get into this. But before we can put a stop to Prince Randall, we gotta see we'll put a start to Prince Randall. Let's ask some questions. Mm. No candy for you, by orders of the prince. Now back to work, boy. 
sire. This one says he's got no candy. Please, Majesty. I gave me last two bits to me little sis. She's a good girl, sir. And you have so much candy. I don't care. To the dungeon with him. Woe is me. We are not free. No singing! Sorry to bother you, sire, but it seems students Griswold and Grundler have been going around asking questions. Griswold and Grundler? Ah, those are two of Detweiler's fly in the ointment friends. They better not mess this up for me. If I may suggest, perhaps if you got TJ out of the way, his friends would get the royal message. An excellent idea. Summon my litter. I asked everyone I could think of, and I got Bubkiss. Seems like no one knows how Randall became a prince. Correction. King Bob knows he's simply missing. <clears throat> Oh, great. All bow before your prince. No way! Did T.J. Detweiler just refuse to bow to his prince? That's right, Randall. We don't know how you got to be prince, but we ain't bowing and you can't have our candy. Guards, take him to the wall and pelt some sense into him. Hey, your royal lowness, none of us bowed. Wanna try taking us all? The brood has a point. Pelt T.J. extra for those friends of his. You guys, find King Bob! I couldn't find King Bob any! Where? Maybe he dropped out. There's no computer record of an absence. Good, sweet me. Teach, you okay? Come on, say something. Ouch. No! Hey, who's the very large kindergartner with a football helmet? Come on, King Bob, you've got to do something about Randall. Just look at what his bully boys did to TJ. And he's making the little ones cry. He's new on the throne. I'm sure he'll get better. That is Bo Yang, and you know it, King Bob. Randall's got something on you, doesn't he? Another time, and it might have met the wall for your insolence. But it seems there's been enough of that. It's true. Prince Randall is blackmailing me. I knew it. You've proven time and again to be my loyalist subjects. And though I don't know all of your names, I will share with you the source of Randall's power. <gasps> Like King Bob, you're dressed like... I know, and that's why this picture, or any of Randall's 65 copies, must never see the light of playground. I'd be ruined. You're moping around in the kitty corral, and you don't call that ruined? You're right, of course. But what am I to do? Uh, I got the plan. But I thought you were out. There's out, there's out, Michael. Now everyone huddle up. Don't open this until King Bob says so. Don't open this until King Bob gives the go-ahead. What's this, then? It seems King Bob has called another gathering of the grades. He didn't clear that with me. Oh, well, I still have him right where I want him. Kids of the playground! Deadweiler! I give you King Bob! Greetings, kids. I... I would like to tell you a story. You are all familiar with my lineage on this playground, but in my own royal family, I was not first born. Before me was born another, my sister, Lady Sheila. The other day, Lady Sheila set out for the mall. I felt it was my noble duty to accompany her. Anyway, the rule of my family is while protecting my older sister, I must do anything she asks. I follow that rule. You may open your papers. His sister made him try on clothes like a girly girl. He sort of looks like my aunt. He played the truth card. Now he'll be shamed into quitting, leaving me his heir apparent as the new king. Monkey boy, you said your plan was foolproof. Have they, sire? Ha! That's a good one, King Bob. But I have an older sister, too. Name's Becky. And this one time, she put eye junk on my eyes and lip junk on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now they're laughing at TJ. I'm not so sure, Randall. Great one, Teach. But my older brother, Vito, takes the cake. One time, he made me wear his old shoes, and you know what? I like them! I don't understand. It's like most of these kids have big brothers and sisters. I've seen their files. They do. Hey, everybody! Don't you get it? King Bob was dressed like a girl! Hey, that's nothing, Randall. Just last night, my big sister put my hair in Piggly Wiggly Tails. Now I'm funny just like King Bob! Wilson's right! King Bob is funny! And more than that, he's one of us. Who here hasn't been hassled by an older brother or sister? My cousin hassles me! We're cousin! We all have. And so's our king. I say, hail, hail, King Bob! Hail, hail, King Bob! And now, King Bob has something else he'd like to say to you. This has been a lot of fun. It has been my way of apologizing for an inexcusable mistake I made the other day. One which I will promptly fix. On this day, I, King Bob, do repeal the candy tax. Yeah! I order a halt to the construction of the chocolate Randall and declare its candy stuffs up for grabs. And I strip Randall Weems of his title and powers and sentence him to a month of recesses in his own dungeon. Tender. No wonder he likes Detweiler better. Oh, well. 
was moist while it lasted.